arrived and they're into the stretch. Obviously, Za approval comes after him. Wise Dan's in the center of the course. Silencio is coming on too, but here's Wise Dan alongside of Za approval. Silencio coming up the fence. Wise Dan's got him. Wise Dan, brilliant in the mile. All right, welcome back to A Case for Racing Immortality today on Racing Run On. As you can tell by the title of this video, we're going to be picking up with the next horse on the list of the, on this series. In this installment, of course, as title mentioned, we're going to be talking about Wise Dan today, who, you know, whenever these lists come out, everyone always takes a look at the list of horses that are being considered for nomination this year, or being considered for induction to the Hall of Fame. I should say they've already been nominated. And, you know, you look at them, and you judge whether or not some of them are pretty much sure bets or whether or not uh, there's more of an argument for them. And really, uh, why Stan this year was the only horse uh, of the group of six horses that uh, were nominated for the Hall of Fame this year that is really a slam dunk. You know, there, I see no reason why Stan doesn't get in this year. You know, I kind of said that a little bit about Royal Delta last year, if you want to go back to the very early days of this channel, but... So, uh, Royal Delta, there were still some question marks with her. There's not really much of a question with Wise Dan. You know, he was a six-time Eclipse Award winner. Uh, of course, two of those including Horse of the Years, as well as a two-time Breeders' Cup winner. Uh, and he very easily could have been a third if he was not injured uh, prior to the 2014 Breeders' Cup and had to scratch out of it. But, you know, aside from his two signature wins coming in the Breeders' Cup, uh, Wise Dan has a lot of a lot to dive into, you know, uh, he kind of gives shades of John Henry. I don't want to compare him too much to John Henry, uh, but, you know, you look at Wise Dan and you can't help but see the parallels between him and John Henry. You know, Wise Dan started on the dirt, actually not very widely known about this. I actually didn't know this about him until I uh, started to look deeper into him, is that Wise Dan started out on the dirt, and in 2010 he was a participant in the 2010 Breeders' Cup Sprint on the dirt. So, you know, Wise Dan did have several uh, graded stakes wins on the dirt, including a win in the Grade 1 Clark Handicap in 2011. And, you know, again, I don't want to be using this video to compare Wise Dan a lot to John Henry, but you can't help but, you really can't help but see the, the, note, the noted differences between Wise Dan and John Henry. You know, you had John Henry, a horse that could run on grass, could run on dirt, he could go long, he could go shorter. Now, Wise Dan couldn't necessarily go as long as John Henry did. John Henry won the Jockey Club Gold Cup at a mile and a half. Uh, Wise Dan's longest victory was a mile and an eighth. But still, a very versatile horse. And, you know, John, uh, excuse me, not John Henry. Wise Dan could do a lot of what you asked of him. But uh, I want to look a little bit more into, you know, what he did over the course of his, his career. I, I mentioned he was, you know, cycled between the dirt and the turf over the course of time between 2010 and 2011. He didn't start as a two-year-old. Uh, started early in his three-year-old year in 2010 and uh, sort of worked his way up. You, you know, you could see that he, he was uh, definitely had the turf potential because all of his first few races, uh, his first four races specifically, were all on all-weather track. So uh, e either at Turfway or at Keeneland when he won the Phoenix Stakes, uh, the local prep there for the Breeders' Cup Sprint. And then uh, he went on the grass uh, and then was was able to cycle between the grass and the dirt and then... Finally, after he was second in the Stephen Foster, uh, they decided to make the permanent switch of Wise Dan from the dirt onto the grass, and that's where he really started to excel. And in August of 2012, all the way up through until the 2013 Shadwell Turf Mile, he didn't lose a race on the grass, so all undefeated. He was second in that race, but then was able to come back, win the Breeders' Cup Mile, and then in 2014... He was having, uh, up to that point, he had had a perfect season, uh, and he redeemed himself, of course, in the Shadwell Turf Mile, which would ultimately be his last race, as I mentioned. He was injured and was not able to pursue a third Breeders' Cup championship in a row. Uh, it's something I'm not going to debate uh, whether or not he would have been able to get that, but uh, very likely that Wise Dam would have been able to close out his career at that point. Uh, with what would have been a Breeders' Cup championship, and actually, you don't even know if uh, he he had the if he would have had the ability to go longer. But what we did get from Wise Dan, you know, the two Breeders' Cup wins, the versatility that he had, the the amount of times he was able to run, and just the the amount of accomplishments that he was able to get. As I mentioned, the six Eclipse Awards, uh, two-time champion older horse. Again, this was uh, before the era where they specified that the champion older horse. 
uh, was champion older dirt male. So uh, there was that stretch where, uh, and you know, I'll, I'll get to my next installment on this will actually be game on dude. And uh, one of the reasons that game on dude is going to probably be held back from the hall of fame, at least a little bit. I think game on dude uh, does eventually get there, but I don't want to uh, spoil Game on Dude, obviously, because this is why I stand. But one of the reasons that Game on Dude uh, is probably going to be held out of the Hall of Fame is because Wise Dan was stealing all those Eclipse awards from him uh, because there wasn't the specification. So he was, he got older male horse uh, two times. He was also uh, champion turf horse on top of those two nods as horse of the year. So Wise Dan, again, the six Eclipse awards, two for older horse, two for grass, and two for 2013. And again, you know, Maybe not. Maybe he wouldn't would not have been horse of the year in 2014. But it's very hard to believe that he wouldn't have been third straight year champion turf horse and third straight year champion older horse. I know main sequence kind of got that in the absence of a real star older male dirt horse in 2014. But uh, you know the potential is there for Wise Dan. So this is a little bit shorter than some of the other ones. You know, Wise Dan's really again a very very much, a, I don't want to say a lock, but as close to a lock as you're going to get, I don't see a reason why Wise Dan doesn't get in here. You know, John Velasquez is a really talented rider. Like, one, one of the better riders that there has been. And, uh, you know, when he calls a horse the best he's ever ridden, there's really not much more you can say about him. So, Wise Dan, uh, very 100% a Hall of Famer needs to be this year, and I have very little doubt that he does get in this year. So thanks for stopping by. Uh, we will be back uh, over the course of the next couple of days. Uh, we're going to finish this off. Uh, so there won't be the, the week-long breaks between episodes. I was trying to stagger them out a little bit, but that's not going to work. So uh, next time out, you, uh, we will have Blind Luck, Have Rate of Grace, and I will finish off uh, the horses with Game On Dude. So those will be coming in the next couple of days. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you later on with those episodes as well. Obviously the leader by two, but Wise Dan now hooks off the rail in the goal cap. Obviously he's got to find more because Wise Dan's taken dead aim on him. Mr. Commons running a big one along the inside. Acceleration getting involved late as well. Obviously, but Wise Dan now been full flight for the wire. And Wise Dan strikes the front, sticks his neck out. He wanted to win today and win it he will. Wise Dan, super impressive. Breeders' Cup mile. Wise Dan won it.